If you're spending a ton of time qualifying the leads for your business, I'm here to tell you that there is an easier way. In this video, we're gonna go step by step on how to build a system for your business that qualifies all of the leads that come in automatically and then sends them the next step in the process for those qualified leads that you want to move forward with. So if that's of interest to you, let's get on into it. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner of Gap Consulting, where we help businesses streamline their processes and automate their workflows using Airtable and Zapier. As I mentioned, in this video, we're gonna be going step-by-step step into how you can build an automated system to qualify your leads. So let's jump on in. Inside this Airtable base, you'll see that we've got a really simple setup. This is just a single table. And what we're doing is we're collecting data through some sort of intake form. Now this could be an Airtable form, or in a more complicated case, you could be using some other third-party software for other forms. But the idea is that uh, interested clients will be reaching out, or prospects will be reaching out to you and filling out some information. So in most cases, you'll get a name and an email address, and then you might have some other qualifying questions like, how can we help you? Uh, give us a bit of a description. Uh, what's your interest level in working with us, etc. So these are the pieces of data that the uh, the form respondent will be uh, putting in for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like inside of Airtable. If we had that Airtable form, that form might look very similar to this, and this is just where they can fill out their form, last name, email, and then you know tell us what type of service they're looking for and how, interest they, how interested they are in working with us. So assuming that that gets filled out, then the, the next step would be for us to qualify that lead. And we have a couple of options here. In some cases, you'll want to qualify that lead in a subjective scoring. So you might want to overlook that data input and choose whether you're going to move forward with that uh, prospect or not. In other cases, you might want to have that entirely automated, which is totally your prerogative as well. I'm a fan of automating things wherever it makes sense, obviously. So I've put together both of these options for us in this example. So in the subjective case, we might have a dropdown where we decide what type of lead it is, if we have multiple services that, or products that we offer, or we might choose to uh, assign that lead to a bad fit category where they get an email that says, you know, unfortunately we don't think we're a great fit, uh, but here are some people who might be able to help you. That's the way to do it subjectively. And then of course the other option would be to build some sort of filters that function off of the uh, input variables from the uh, prospect when they filled out the form, and then they spit out an output automatically. So in this case, we've built some formulas that do just that, where we're saying, hey, we only want to work with people who have an interest level of four or five, otherwise they're, they're not committed to this process and we're not going to have a good uh, relationship. So in this case, you'll see if I were to change, let's say, the interest level to a three, the formulas will automatically update and instead this person, this lead would, would be assigned to the bad fit filter. And then what we can do is build specific views for each of these possible outcomes. So let's take the subjective case again. In the subjective case, we're going to set up a filter uh, that is only looking at where the subjective filter, that's what we've called this field, is course lead. That way, if in any case we were to, let's say back here in the records, we were to say that this is a bad fit, then that record will not show up in our subjective course lead view. And so this way we can build a zap that says when a new uh, record appears in that specific view, then we want a specific email to go out. Similarly, we can build the same type of logic in an automated view, where we say inside the automated view, that we are looking for course filter to be course lead. And in this case, let's jump back again into that record. If we set the interest level to let's say four or five, then the rank filter will populate and we have a logical statement here that says, now this is a potential course lead. And so then that lead will appear here in the automated view. Now that's the first step of this whole process is setting up a system inside of Airtable that helps this all work. And then the next step, as I alluded to, is jumping into Zapier or some sort of um, automated software solution that finds the new record in that view. In this case, let's take a look at what this says. 
we're looking at that example and we're looking for the subjective course lead view. So in this case, we're looking at this view right here. When a new record pops into here, we're going to do take a certain action. So let's go ahead and bring a record in there. That's going to be the course lead. When we set that subjectively, then that will bring that into this view. And now we can continue from here, test this step. This will be that record itself. There it is. We're going to go ahead and continue from here. And then we can set up an email that sends whatever information we want to send to those people who are ranked appropriately. So in this case, we might say, hey, uh, we think you'd be a great fit for our course. Here's a link to our course. Check it out. Uh, let me know if I can help in any other way. And, and that's it. Now, this email is going to fire out automatically anytime there is a new, uh, a new lead that fits that specific view. So let's go ahead and send out an example email and see if it comes through on the email side. All right, here we go. So that email did come through and it sent out just as we would expect and it's got the link to you know the information that we want to share for this particular lead. So let's go ahead and work through this entire process and see if we can get this to work from beginning to end. So first step will be to uh, fill out the form. And we're looking specifically for folks who fit into the you know, potential for course. And we need to, of course, uh, have a four or five on interest level and we'll hit submit. When we do that, we would expect to see a new record appearing in our Airtable, which it is. There's that new record. Wonderful. You'll see that our automatic filters are picking that up, but the zap that we built, of course, is looking at our subjective filter. I should say that the same logic that we use for the subjective filter is used for the, um, the uh, objective formula filter as well. But in this case, if we were to assign this to course lead, then we will, of course, see that come into the new view. And that would mean that this zap would be able to, uh, to work. So let's go ahead and run it manually. The zap will run automatically on its own every five to 15 minutes, but we'll go ahead and push that out. And it has sent a new email. Let's see when we receive that. And there it is. We just got that email. Uh, and so there's the new email sent uh, from, from that automation. And so using these steps, you can build your own system that will streamline all your workflows and uh, cut back on the need to copy and paste the same email over and over again uh, in your business. All right, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. And if you have any custom work that you could use uh, some help with, definitely swing by our website. You'll find the link in the cards for this video and uh, see if we might be a good fit for each other. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.